as you can see today, I have makeup on. But, my own makeup. Okay, it's kind of windy out here today, and our babies are almost awake from their naps. So we're just going to show you passing and some fundamental passing and some drills I like to so, do with passing. You know, you know how um, we were showing you the drills like this? So right here, to here, and to hit the backboard, Land. you can pass and do that. Yeah, but well, we're just going to work on fundamental passing. So what I teach is a passing a ball is like shooting a ball. So we start with there's two-handed pass and a one-handed pass. And so we're going to start. Devin, will you scoot back a little bit? And all we're going to do is we're going to shoot it. So I'm going to get with Devrin, and I'm going to shoot the ball just like I hold it with shooting, and I'm going to push and shoot and follow through. Good. This is the guy hand. Yep. And so we're going to work that shooting. Good. And we want, again, backspin like on our shot, and we'll work with our left hand and our right hand. So, and as you can tell, I'm stepping with my left foot when I shoot right-handed and my right foot when I shoot left-handed. Okay, the other key to passing is catching. And when we catch a basketball... You catch like this, like a volleyball. Show them, turn your hands. Yeah, so we're going to catch, catch like with a our hands. Volleyball. Volleyball's up pointed. here like that. Yeah, we'll do volleyball in a little bit, a few weeks. So we're going to catch with our thumbs pointed towards each other. We don't want them down, it makes it hard. We don't want them up, it makes them hard to catch. So just Nailed. like the shape of the ball. Most kids try to catch like this when they're well, little, and it, it does make it easier to an extent of you have more body to pull it into, but catching with your hands, your thumbs should point to each other. Right hand, left hand. So that is the one hand did pass. Can you go back over there? Me use this one. Yes. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a two-handed pass. So when I do a two-handed pass, I hold the ball the same way I catch. My hands on either side, and my thumbs pointed towards each other, and I'm going to flip and point my thumbs down. And thumbs go down as I pass out. So my hands, my the back of my hands point I to each other. It. So how you catch it, and then you're just going to push and put your thumbs down. Thumbs point to the ground. No, no, thumb, your thumbs are going up. Thumbs down. Rotate your hands. That's pretty good. <laughs> So that's a two-handed chest pass. So now I do with when we do this in um, practice or in camps. Then I like to you scoot back. Once we do a chest pass, we'll start a one-handed bounce pass. And so I'm going to step with my opposite and create space. Oh, back there. And then I'm going to bounce pass it about midway so that chump comes up to her chest and we do that with our right hand and we do that with our left hand uh, working around around people Good. so we step opposite to create space that's our dog we step, we step opposite to create space as if the defender is right here so we'll step around the defender to pass so when I do this, normally I'll add a third person, and the third person then becomes defense, and they'll play defense and try to steal it, and if they touch the ball, we play keep away. Then they get out, and the person that was passing gets to be in the middle. So that's one fun game we get to do with passing. The, um, the next thing I like to do is, ready? I like to do chest pass, bounce pass. Good job. So you just slide just sit here. like this, with your hands, and then you in the middle, out. Yep. In the middle, and it bounces back up to their chest. So, chest pass, one-handed, two-handed. We use both left and right. Thumbs go down when you chest pass. Then you go into bounce passing. And then the other one I like to do is over the head pass. Yep. Nice and, <laughs> nice and crisp. <laughs> now, can you do it to me? Good. Now step when you come closer to mom. And when you throw it, step. Here, I'll scoot this way. Step and throw it right at mom's chest. Whoa! <laughs> Jack, are you okay? Are you licking your alley? So, we use that a lot of the time when I have to turn and go all the way up the main court. <laughs> is that chest pass. Or over the head pass. Step. Good. Good shot.
And so I do drills, um, layup drills with these. And but so guess what? If it feels like it's gonna go to your a, chest, then look, this yo, is a full court. I want a full court. I would toss like this, turn, and send it to the person down the court, trying to go one dribble to the uh, layup. Wanna try it? I'm gonna pass it to you, and I want you to dribble and do a layup right here. Ready? Now dribble and do your layup. Okay, now you. Ooh, now you do it. Go throw it at the. Go throw it at the backboard. Catch it. Throw it to mom. Ready? Go. Go. Catch it and go. So this is half court. Oh, you forgot to dribble. Oh yeah, I traveled. Yep, you traveled. Ready? So we we get it to where we're catching it out of the net and going to the next gum. Dribble. Yeah. <laughs> dribble, dribble. Where's the hoop? Miss! Alright, so that's basic passing. We'll do passing back and forth. Like I said, keep away passing drills here. The other thing I like to do is with Go over there! With three people is work on my pivot to pass here. Ready? I'm gonna get you to shoot from there. So I would work on my person on the block, and I would work on pivoting, pivoting, stepping, and passing in, and then they'd make work their post move. Oh! oh. <laughs> they'd work their post move to get in. So those are some of the passing drills I like to do. See if I can write this. And then I no. would just pass and do my shooting drills too, and that's the basics of passing in basketball. I'm strong. <laughs> right, you have anything else to say? Um, have fun. It's all a little bit of fun. It's all a little bit of fun.